that I'm going to use my new supplies, my new um, materials that I got from Craft Stash. And I'm going to use this 49 Market Vintage Shade Potpourri series. I love the colors. And I'm going to use, I'm so excited, I am super excited. I'm going to use these dies, these dies, I have several dies from Hartfell Creations, the Delicate Border Basics. And this awesome paper collection from Paper Boutique. The 6x6, the 7x7, the... Oh, there is so much. The paper kit, the decorative papers. And the embellishment pad, the decorative papers. The solid ones. And these are the solid ones. And the... A4 insert collection. Oh, awesome. I love this one. I'm going to have so much fun. Um, they sent me some chipboard. I think I'm going to add a bit more to make a nice big album. And these uh, silver cardstock, the glitter card from Craft Artist, I'm going to use. And they sent me a big um, 300 gram white linen oh my gosh i already tested it out so i'm gonna use some white cardstock on here and um, they sent me some magnets from car crafters companion and they sent me from paper mania a nice um some nice charms and you can use these also for swing tabs so i love this one so let's dig in guys oh so much to do so much so much okay so stay tuned and watch what i'm gonna do with it oh last thing that i forgot to um, show you they also sent me the faux leather paper and i am super excited to see how this will work on the spine oh can't wait can't wait can't wait all right so stay tuned guys and Follow me along. Okay, first of all, before I start with the project, I tried the delicate border basics and I absolutely love them. You have so many opportunities to do. So I cut this one. It's the bottom piece right here. But you can even make something like this. That is amazing. So easy and so delicate. And um, uh, this one is a tryout to see perhaps if I cut this down, I can use it as a frame or something. This is this. Oh, I love it. Love it. So I cut already a few pieces. It's easy when I have already done these. It's easy to work with, easy to make some pockets. So yeah, I cut out a few of these and I cut out a few of these too and I also tried these out in that silver it's pretty thick paper but if I will unleash all these little pieces and I do need to do that I do not have any tool for that perhaps I can use a old teeth 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 brush or something like that or a nail brush or something like that but this needs a little work so but when I have all these out a few moments later then it will look amazing I promise you that that is super super cute and can you imagine that if you have a piece of paper, well, let's say this is the, too big. Let's say this is the design paper that you glue this nicely on top here. A little over and a little over the edge and a little, what do you think? That will look amazing, especially on a darker piece or black or just 
a darker piece than this silver but oh my gosh I love it I love it if you have a tip to quicker unleash all these little pieces then I love to read your comments I don't have a tool so it must be something that maybe every housekeep keeping has it I think an old dish brush or well I think not an old one because <laughs> that will be disgusting perhaps I will check it out I don't know if that will work because this paper is pretty thick you guys but at least I do have a nice die cut when I'm done <laughs> when I'm done it will look perfect so I will stop filming now because you will get bored and I will bravel too much but you get the picture what I'm doing what are you doing girl okay I will stop till here oh, you keep seeing things yay this is the last piece <laughs> okay so you get the picture how this looks oh, love it love it yeah all right so I still have a few I also have this these leaves I need to and in white it went perfectly I did not have to unleash that much but the silver is pretty thick paper but I could not resist cut out a few of the silver ones all right so Diane, let's get started on page one. I think this project I am not going to make first the cover. I'm going to leave these for the pockets. This I have to work on. So I have to go and clean up. And let's get started on page one. Okay, welcome back guys. I'm gonna start on page one today and I'm super excited and before I'm gonna start I like to tell you a bit what my inspiration is um, while I was getting these papers and from craft styles and when I saw oh my gosh there are so many design papers in it I thought what can I make with that? Well, now I do have plenty. I don't have to worry. Do I have enough? Do I not have enough? Do I have enough? Do I? Well, that's normally the case. So on this time, I do have enough. Plenty. So I thought, hmm, which project use a lot of papers? And I watched and I watched my old videos. And I thought, why would I do not remake an album and that album is the best watched on my youtube channel and that is the Mirabelle mini album and I recreate that also that same album in the bird song graphic 45 bird song papers just a little slice smaller um, but I thought hmm yeah why not again make a big one but the big one I think it was the same size as an A4 but yeah you have to be careful if you're going to use an A4 size album if your papers are A4 so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna make a, a page that is one inch smaller from the top and one inch smaller from the side so then I came up with, let me see if I do that, I'm just going to do that right away. You are live with me girl, I am live, <laughs> no I'm not live, but I am just follow along, doing follow along tutorial. So I'm just doing the best I can and I just like to join you how I think. 
So I think this size, that means if I cut out a one inch off, that means that I left a, let's say a seven one fourth. It's actually a seven three sixteenth, but let's say it's a seven one fourth and that's an 18.3 centimeters. And then for the longest size, it's a 10, 5 of an 8, and that's a 7, 27 centimeters. So I think this size would be nice. So let me check the chipboard. I think I still can use that chipboard. Only for the spine, I need to check another piece on my own stash. That's, that's no, no problem at all. I still can use this chipboard. So I think the size is pretty. What do you say? So, yeah. I think the size is perfectly. What do you say? Shall we do that? Yep. I'm gonna do that. <gasps> I think the size is pretty. It's big enough. Not too big, not too small. Yep, and I even don't remember exactly the size of the Mirabella uh, or the bird song. Then I have to check the tutorials which size it is, but I don't mind. I'm just going to do this size. So that is what I came up. And so every page has this base page, this base size. So I'm going to write that down for you guys. So, and for me too. <laughs> So I will start each time with the same base page. Okay, stay tuned. So guys, this is the base page that I'm going to use. So it's a 10 5 of an 8 by 7 3 16. It's an odd size, but yeah, that's me. I'm odd, I'm crazy. And in centimeters, it's 27 by 18.3 centimeters. All right, you can write that down. Or if you have the same A4 size as I did, and my A4 size is a 21 by 29 and a half centimeters, and that is an 8 1 fourth by 11 5 of an 8 inch. Now I have to measure because these papers are from England, and I think it's the same size. Yep, 21, 29 and a half. 21 yes united kingdom you have the same size as i do <laughs> okay crazy <laughs> anyway so these are the sizes of a my a4 so i cut off one inch off and long side short side and then i came up with this 10 5 of an 8 by 7 3 16 inch 727 by 18.3 centimeters. That's such an odd size. <laughs> okay, well, that's just me. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on page one. Okay, and page one is going to be simple because that one is going to be on the inside cover. And that means that we're going to make two on the inside cover. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's get started. And I just watched um, my video to see what is on page one. And I am just going to do a bit different. And I'm just going to show you what. Oops. What is page one? So that flips up. And you see, you ha I have to pull up the complete album down, otherwise you can't see. And that flip goes down. So one down, one up. I hate that, actually. And this one is going to the left, and then you see pocket. It's that easy. So I'm going to change a bit. Oh, I love those Santoro papers. I love it. I'm going to change some little pages well not completely but as you just saw that that one page up and one down it's awkward you have a big album and then a page goes up i can 
do with that but down i hate the pages that goes down because you have to bump in your boobies and it's not that if you are going to put a post picture on that it's hard to see because you have to go all the way back if you want to see that picture so what do you say if we are going to do it a little different i always like on an album when something goes left right or up but nothing down i did just in my latest album but i don't like that it's going down i don't know i have to see if i can change that anyway so first of all i'm going to start on a small piece on the left side and i decided to make that four inches wide not too small not too deep we have to stay focus on that um, pocket so if we do a four inches then we have that half inch left for the opening and then we still have one two three four five we still have six inches for the nice pocket so that is still wide enough so i am gonna do a one left and one right and perhaps something inside i don't know just yet but let me first cut this piece of paper in that size and this size is 7360 i'm just gonna cut one inch off and then i am good good to go always can check 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 yes i'm good good to go okay i'm grabbing my big scoreboard let's see which now let's try this again actually i don't like it it's too small let's just use my old one okay i'm gonna score a half inch and i think i'm gonna score on the other side right away so i can remove my scoreboard then i'm gonna grab my extra score tool love that one now the linen paper has texture on it so i'm gonna try to see that my texture is gonna be on the outside so that means that i have to be aware that this paper has texture on but gosh it folds nice now i said we are going to make this four inches so let's cut our first piece i can hear you yes at four inches good girl oh my gosh don't talk if you are a child sorry i'm sorry <laughs> just want to make it a little fun I'm just, I'm just in a mood. Girls, I am in a mood. I am in a mood. I always have a little shiver when I start on a new project. I just ended up with another project. I'm not going to tell you. No, 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 no. Which one? I have no idea which order I'm going to upload these two projects. So I have no clue how long this project is going to be taking. taken. So... I have no clue. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush anything. I have plenty of time. I want to make it nice. Alright, so the next one, so this is going to the left. Yay. And now the other one is going to be right here. So if I cut this also at four, it's going to be bumpy in the way so i'm gonna cut one eight shorter so that means that's three seven of an eight so but i still can make a little mark where i like to add my next one so i'm gonna add some Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to push this on the right spot. Make sure you are straight. Yeah. 
Here we go. That is page one. Not page one. We are not done. Not done just yet. Yeah, but I like this. See, now there's nothing oh, in the way. Well, on top we can. We still can. We still can add something on top. Not necessary. I think this is nice. We still can add nice picture, nice size for this. Love it. Yeah. And what closure we can make. Well, it's totally up to you. You can make a magnet or a nice little ribbon. Totally up to you. If you are want to use a um, swing tab, then just cut this a bit. Oh, we can use a swing tab, of course. Ooh. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Wait just a second. We can use already a swing tab on this. That means that if we do that, that it needs to be this size. And if I do that, then I have to measure just a bit. And then I have to cut off this piece. Ooh. Hmm. Perhaps I don't like that. Perhaps I can do a swing tab on here. Ooh, that's also a possibility. Because I'm going to leave an opening right here from one inch. So, I put this ruler against that. My next page, and that will be the page that will go on here. Um, yeah. We can make, well, let's decide that on a later stage. Let me first make the right side. And the right side was a big pocket. And that big pocket, I want, of course, a decorative edge. So, let me see. Oh, gosh, I love this one. I'm going to use the nicest one, in my opinion. I love this piece. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... See, and that is why I love doing, um, why I pre-cut this one. So I'm going to cut this just a small centimeter smaller. So I'm making two marks and I'm going to cut this down. Just like that, so it nicely fits. Then how wide do I like to go like this? Um, this is going to be right here. Has to be a half inch spine. Actually, I do like this piece where it's so. So I'm gonna make a flippity flop. Yes. A flippity flop. Oops. Oh my gosh. Fold it over, burnish it down, and let me see, let me check it out. So I will leave a gap open, so there's nothing, If and the reason why I do that, I'm going to explain to you, if I put this right against here, and then it will get in the way to open this up. So if you will leave a half inch open, you can put a nice decorative edge um, strip on there. And then we have plenty of space. So I'm going to add this already on here. I'm going to be as tight as... Wait, it's possible. Yay. I love it. All right, and now we're going to make that pocket. Now, I already use a decorative edge on here, so I'm not going to do that on the pocket. I think that's not necessary. So how deep? Um, definitely 
gonna stay away at one inch but I think it's more easy to stay one and a half inch I'm gonna stay away that's that's better so um, that means that I can make a mark and on that mark I am gonna score I'm gonna try this one because this one is a little this paper is pretty thick so I think this one will score just a bit better with thick paper than the, this one is very old and already pretty thick so I think this one does it nicer I'm gonna cut a half inch And then I need, you know, I need to cut this down the correct size. Forgot to cut this down one inch. Yep, here we go. Can do it just a little. Fold it. Bring it down. And then I totally forgot to make, yeah, I totally forgot to make a pocket. Cha, pa cha, pa cha, pa cha. Okay, let's do this over again. <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> I don't have to score there. I have to cut here. My goodness, are you done? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not going to throw this away because I still can use that. Now I need to score this. Oh. I am crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know the lines of that song. Yes, 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 yes. Let's make another mark on this end. And then we have our pocket. Yes, now we have a pocket. Sometimes I get a question, why? If I make a pocket, I do not make that hinge for the bottom. I'm going to explain that. If I make a hinge at the bottom, just as if I, if, 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 if I do this, most people make this as a pocket. They make a hinge at the bottom. I don't like that because if I glue this down like this, then Everything what I put inside will bump in this hinge. Some people uh, make a design paper all the way down so you don't bump into this hinge. But why put design paper all the way behind a pocket? I think that's a waste of paper, but that's just my opinion. So I don't use a hinge. I just glue this down and I never bump into anything and I don't have to go all the way down with my design paper. So, it's a win-win situation. But that is just how I like to do it. Everybody has his own way, but this is my way. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, so let's glue down this pocket. Glue it down. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna let that dry, but I normally like to wiggle a little to make those edges 
to make a pocket a little more not that tight. But oh, I like this. I like this a lot. What happened here? I don't know. Perhaps the glue. On white you will see everything. I have to... Um, I am not used to that. So it's a little... Oh, I like it. So yeah. Pretty flat. Pretty easy. We still can work on something with this closure. Because the up and down has the closure right here. It's totally up to you what you can what we can do about it what can we do about it so if i will make something like this it's not easy because this is a little tunnel that is not easy this is also not easy, this is not long enough. Then I have to make it higher. Then it's possible. Hmm. I can make a little button under here. Do I have small buttons? Or... I have to decide for that. Well, this is a button, but it's a big button, it's too, bu it's too much, but just for example, small button. Perhaps that's nice. I have to, oh, oopsie daisy, I have small buttons. If I put this on here. Then it will work. Oh yes, it is. Oh, that's an option. I do like that. I do like those swing traps. Ah, yes, that's an option. Okay, I will figure out how that how that will work. Um, yeah. All right. So I think I will like having the other page on the other side, just the opposite way best way to show this is when I put design paper on it. Now it looks so odd and I'm offering. <laughs> okay. Yes, I like it. I like it very much. Perhaps I do like a nice corner punch. Well, this is not a kit. I can use everything I want. What I have. Perhaps I like a nice. Oh, yes, that does it. Oh, yes, I like it. What do you say about that? That is just a finishing touch. Cool. Yep. Okay guys, the last thing, I like to add a pocket down here. Of course, I almost forgot making a nice little pocket. So we for the noise, I have two scoreboards. Sometimes it's easier to grab my little piece. My little piece. Now I'm gonna stay away, at least two millimeters away from that fold line. Let's score. And for this small size, I'm just going to cut this down. And fold. And burnish it down. And... I like the sound of that. Fold. 
here they are. Pocket is born. Yeah, okay, now this is dry, so I'm gonna, gonna show you what I mean about making this a little usable. So I'm just like to grab a small ruler and then I go with the rounded piece. I'm just going to work a bit. Well, you can use stick paper, so I can do this a bit wilder. I'm gonna work a bit with that paper. Yeah. See, then the pocket is going to be a little workable, not too stiff. See? It's a little bumpy, a little pointing up. I like that. Okay, now for this one, yeah, I think I'm gonna use, oh, I'm gonna use already a magnet. Oh, yes, why not? Let's use a magnet. I think I'm gonna use a lot of magnets, finally. <laughs> Long time that I used some magnets. Okay. I like to use double sided tape for that. Oh, it's all sticky. I like to use my non sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see, I like this right here, not too far, and then this piece goes up and down, I've thought of that, of course, yes, peel a piece off, pressing it down, and then secure it. Okay, that's that guys. That's it. That's so easy. Yes. I like it. Yep. It's very easy, but I like it. How many times do I need to say that I like it? <laughs> oh, crazy. Shall I add first some design paper on? I know you are going to like it, so. And I do have some time left, so. That, that is almost, beginning at the page, it's not that difficult, especially not where you're going to remake an old album. Um, but starting on design paper, that is for me always. But, hey. I do have enough, so let's see. Okay guys, let's get started. I tried out a few things um, for that swing tab. And I'm gonna use first this strip. I'm gonna use my vintage photo to smooch the edges. So first I'm gonna glue this down. And that is possible because all these pages need to go in of course after we are done with the pages. Okay, that is step one. Now I already made a little hole out in there. <laughs> it bit me. Now what I did to create a little more depth because this is lower than our page, I put some sequins and I put three under there 
So I hope it will be enough, but I think it will be. So I'm just going to add that. Flat that down. Oh yes, that works fabulous. Yay! Because with the button it is, did not work, but sequence. Ah, that's a good idea. I use three little sequins, and that just works perfect. Yes, so you can add more if needed. But I think, yeah, this does it. <laughs> I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Move it, move it, move it. Yay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So um, before I start, I always like to... Um, lay all the papers that I have in front of me. So, <laughs> um, I like that. So I'm gonna show you just for a minute. Um, these are the seven by seven I have in front of me. And then these are, I believe, the eight by eight. I have these in front of me. Then I have the A4 in front of me and I have the solids and this is how I like to work so I have all in one side I love that so I'm not having to um, flip through every little pad I just lay this down so I'm gonna first work with the first set so on each pad I tear out each one of them and I'm just going to lay down that and the first cut is be made. Oh, yep, they also made a strip page so that's easy for me to use. Big thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so let's decorate, guys. I am totally in the mood to decorate. All right, so they also have. Um, these cut out so you can easily tear these out if you don't like these little pieces you can cut it down you, I think you also can use a file if you like that's also a possibility but I don't think that I am that Difficult. I think it's okay. So yeah, you can tear these out. I want to see if you can do still with that paper. And I see already on this side here that I have added some words on it too. So that is cool. So you still can use these little words. You know, we love to use everything. So that is just for you. Memories are made every day. For a special friend, it's your day. So that is nice. Um, so yeah, this we can throw away. Nice little cards. With love. You are unique. Unique. You are special. You are you. Um, birthday wishes sending you. Love the steampunk. Then you also get the round ones. So yeah, very sturdy paper. Very easy to get them off. You still can use this to create a nice um, picture frame or something. You can, you can use these. Um, yeah, you can. Alright, and then we have um, this I can cut out, and these pages, cards I can cut, oh, love this one, and then two, one with very, very nice quotes 
on. Um, so yeah, that is what we are going to use. And we have plenty to use. So for the first page, I like to use, let's say, oh, this is perhaps nice on this pocket. That should be nice if I cut this down. Oh, yes, and then two little strips. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The inspiration is already going my way. I need to cut this down just a fraction. And then it will work. Yes, it will. Yep, nice. Okay, let's start on the pocket. <laughs> now with white on the bottom, I have to be careful if I um, smooch my edges. Sometimes it gets a little off, but that's okay. Now these are perfect to use for fill up. But you also can use your solid ones. Let's say well, the solid ones are perfect for backgrounds. But mm, let's use something like this for the background. I oh, love it. I love it. I'm going to cut this piece off so I have a nice background. This one is nice thin, so that's nice. Now, I told you you don't have to go all the way down the pocket, so I'm just going to be a half inch down. Even if I do have enough papers, I am not going to throw any papers away with not necessarily losing papers. Here we go. And then we can just push this over those hinges and then pull this up to the top. And that's it. That's a nice. And now I did use uh, a decorative background. You still can use a solid one, but that's just totally up to you. I just wanted to see if this is now too busy, but oh, it's still okay. It can be working. So I'm gonna glue this down on this pocket. And then I'm going to search for a nice strip on the side. And there I think I am going to... Well, I still can use this one, the same color. Well, no, I don't like the same color. I don't. I think I'm going to use this piece. Nope, definitely not the same color. So I'm going to cut... Um, I'm going to cut this piece off, I'm going to use this one, how much do I need, just a little, just a little strip, I normally eyeball it, and then I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to glue that piece down. Now this is the same color, so well, per perhaps you are thinking that it belongs to each other. It could be, in a way. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, first page and I already am cutting a little slips. Yep, I think that will never stop. Do you think that stops? No, I don't think that ever stops. Okay. 
So yeah, this is the base and um, now I want to go back to the cover and I see this. Oh, stunning. So, I think this is too big. Is this too big? It is too big. It is too big. I don't want this to be upside down. Done. But I can use this for strips. I have to let that color come back, so that is perfect. So I am cutting a few strips. So let this come back. Because this is busy, so now I'm going back with solids. This paper is not that thick, not too thin, not too thick. There we go, perfect. Yeah, so which one do we like on here? Hmm, that will fit on this piece and I do like let this color come back. Mm. I want a bird. I think, oh yes, love it. It's not the same color. It's not the same color. I think I don't mind, but... Ooh. But I think this one looks better. Yeah, and the 7x7 seven seven fits perfectly on this page. And that is totally not planned. <laughs> Alright, so now I cut this down on the lowest piece of my die. So I'm watching where the lowest piece is and then I'm cutting this down okay oh yes this is already nice what do you say I like it I like it I'm gonna round up this piece right here I forgot that I've got this. How can I do that nicely? You can do that like this. Yes. Now I could have cut this down. Oh, I think this is okay. Yes, it's okay. Now I like to go to the bottom and to see which color. Mm -hmm. I do like some solid one that pops up this really good. Now we have this color, or let me just grab it, or this one, hmm, okay, we even have one more choice in the darker ones, oh, this is definitely a good one. Okay, I'm going to use that and I want to use a strip on the bottom 
So I'm going to cut this piece off. Still going to use that strip from that sheet. And I'm going to cut a few of those strips off because I saw this piece. Ah, I love this one. So I'm going to cut this down. On the right spots. And then I'm going to glue this down. Do I need just a little on the end? Ooh, could be, could be. Perhaps the same one as this one. Ooh. That will be... Oh, I do have... This, this is the same one. Let's cut this piece right here for the top. See how we are getting in the mood on these papers. You have to always the first page. The first page is always a little touching. A little yeah. Let's see how these papers work on each other, and then just yeah, go with the flow and see what happens. Just don't be afraid. There is no reason that everything fits perfectly on each other so you don't have to worry about a thing let me check 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 yes perfect but I do like smooching the edges so sometimes I forgot I forget those small strips but I'm trying trying to not forget that but the smooching will definitely look a project so much more nice and so much more professional that's yeah that's just my opinion <laughs> okay let's glue this down 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 Yay! Okay, what shall we do on the background of here? Well, not too busy, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, what shall we do? Oh, love this. Shall it be nice? Or too busy? But we also can use the solid one. But I think that's a bit boring. What do you say? Well, it is the background of the pocket. So actually, it's, I think it's okay, but, but, <laughs> this one is also nice, I'm going to use this. We have so much options, options. Was this the exactly size I think it was? 
Turn this over. I'm gonna see if that fits. That fits. Actually, it's a bit too small. Can you believe that? But I think that's just mini, 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 mini. Just mini. That small piece, I don't think it's too bad. I don't think so. This is good. Should have been the slightly bigger, but it will work. Do you think that is too busy on the background? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. I don't like it. I do like it more solid than the stripe is getting more to his better. That's way better. Yep. Yes! Okay, I'm so sorry that I am a little Deciding list. Are you called that? This, no, um, I have no idea. If you are not um, decide quick enough or something, decide list, please help me. Help me talk better English. What's better to teach English for you guys? From you guys. You know I'm from Holland, so if you have any adjustments, then please do. But don't forget, I am from Holland. And if you don't think that I talk too good English, well, then just talk Dutch for a change. <laughs> See how you do that. Yes, this I like much, much better. Then this strip is coming way more to is better adjustment better that um yeah um, we do have plenty of nice little things what we can add right here or nice words we can decorate as many as we can and perhaps we can Oh, yes, this is nice. We can cut out all these nice flowers if you have. And I'm not a perfect fussy cutting. I am not. It does not have to be exactly perfect. But if you see something and uh, you can use it, then just why am I? I have a certain accent that that is not me. That little thing I don't want. So I'm gonna add like this is the last piece of that rose. Yes. This one I'm going to cut off. So this I can still work a bit. See how I just make a little... I like this. I can add this up down and then add a little word well mommy's mother that is not what i'm going to use birthday celebration of the river then a birthday wish to do is friend that i can use enjoy the moment oh that's a nice one so let's cut off one piece Yes. 
give it just a little more interest. That's one. That's two. And um, here's the magnets. Yes, let's add this right there. down so it will be very cool yeah I love it and it's just a pocket guys <laughs> it's just a pocket it's just a pocket but take your time for it love it yeah cool okay so yeah does it still looks nice it still looks nice it still looks nice. I can do this, but I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Nope. You don't have to cover this up. It's, it's good how it is. Wow, they are good magnets. That's for sure. Now, let's see. What do I like on the left side? I think this piece right here. What do you say? Oh, wait. Oh, I like this piece. Alright, so just cutting the paper. This one I am not going to um, use with a strip. Cut it down and I need to cut it down up here yeah and so gently a page is going to be almost done well we need to do the small pages but but yeah it's getting there, it's getting there, and I hear that the boys are at home. So I need to be stopped. I need to stop. <coughs> okay, that was not a whistle for me. That's a whistle for the dogs. But I need to go outside. <laughs> it's not that you think. Oh. Her guy is whistle at her that she is at that he is at home. No, 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 no. He wasn't there. <laughs> okay, guys, I like this. Perfect. All right, so that is one step there, and then yeah, I think tomorrow we go further on this page. On here, I definitely need that. I could have made this a bit better. I don't like this. Hi. It's time. <laughs> it's time to stop. Okay, I will. I give you a bonus that you don't scare me and my other people, viewers, my subscribers. Okay, choose. Big, big, big thumbs up for my boy. Applause. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, I started really early this morning. It was before eight when I started on here and now it's almost nine. So <laughs> yes, 
So that took me almost an hour to complete the rest of the decoration. And I thought, well, I do that real quick and then I will go further on the, on the next page. But darn, decoration takes time. I always forget that. But I'm going to show you um, how I ended up with this page. Um, so let me first go to the left side. I use that same gray piece on here, so it will come back. Um, I added the leftover piece from this piece right here. I left it like this. So it's a nice curve like this. I cut out the word, uh, added some um, silver paper under, and then I let come that, that green that I use on here. So it will be a nice eye catch, by the way. Um, okay, so then we're gonna use our swing tab and then this opens up. I think it's busy enough, so I wanted to use a solid one. I do not do anything on here because I want to leave it plain for um, adding some pictures on. So when you open this up, then I use the left on, the, on each side the same page. And then we have this pocket. I still believe I could use a more solid one on the back, but I will remember that on the next page because it's still the first page is always touching um, the best way to use papers. And yeah, and then this pocket, it's also not especially what I would do again, but when the paper is on, I have to let it settle. Okay, and then for a tag, that is really easy. So much leftover pieces and um, yeah, a nice eyelet in there. And then you gotta go. Okay, so then we go to this piece. I did not do anything in here because yeah, I, you still can add a nice embellishment right here if you have a nice piece. Nice charm or a nice bling bling or something like that. That's, that's a possibility. Perhaps a nice cabochon piece but um, I always can search for that later and um, so then you open this up so this has a magnetic closure so let's open this up then we have that bird again enjoy the moment and inside there is just a simple tag which I use the corner punch and just a piece of strip to let this come I will let this keep the I'll keep the tags as much plain as possible especially the big ones um, because otherwise it's going to be too thick and you need to add some pictures on or you can write something down of course so yeah but you also can write something right here or here and then add pictures on that tag but that's totally up to you I'm just gonna go with the flow alright so this is the first page I already like it so let's go to the next page <laughs> 